One of the most difficult things about the frog to handstand is that transition. So we've got a great little exercise which is gonna help you to learn that without having to manage your whole body weight. That's a really difficult thing. So using the band for some assistance is gonna help you to pull through that shape. So one, you can learn the movement pattern and, and develop that neuromuscular control, but it also means that by using progressively lighter bands, we can develop the strength. And so you don't need a band at all and you're gonna fly solo. So Jacko is gonna grab the band. He's gonna pull it around his hips and sort of just make a little cradle for it. He's then gonna put his hands on the ground, but just slightly behind where the line of the band is. So we want to be just behind the rig. The reason being that is when he comes through into that transition, we want the band to assist to pull the hips on top of the shoulders. So he puts his hands on the floor, he goes into his frog stand, and this is just exactly the same cues as what we've done before. When he's ready now, he can take one leg off, and this is gonna be the starting point of, start of building that strength in these positions. So he can put the one leg off with the band assist and then pop it back on. He comes back down, and here's the option then to start to move through onto the opposite side again. So the band just provides some support as you start to make these bridges as we work on this transition. So if we, from your frog stand, if you need a little bit of assistance to get into that one leg position, you can use a band for some support. And then we can scale that through with it so to support each stage as we get into that full transition.